Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something incredibly exciting I want to share with you. We're diving deep into the world of Canva Magic Studio where I'll reveal some game-changing AI tools, many of which are brand new within Canva. If you're serious about leveling up your Amazon KDP game, you wouldn't want to miss this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around until the end. The first Canva Magic Studio feature that I want to show you is the Magic Expander. So there are some situations where you really want to use this one photo or image either that is something that you had designed or you had pulled from the Canva elements or you had created from mid journey and you pasted it into your book cover and you realize that the size isn't quite right so here's an example where I've uploaded an image that I've created on mid journey and I realized okay the size is not quite what I want so how can I fill up this whole back cover if you were to do it manually it's obviously not going to work because then you'd be expanding the girl and it's going to get too big and it's going to overlap with the part where I say composition notebook and even if I did this it's just not going to work right so let's say I really like the size of the girl the way that it is centered on the page here on the front cover but I just want to make sure that I don't have a white background around that photo this is when the magic expander becomes really useful so what I did was I clicked on a photo I clicked on edit photo and then I come to magic studio and I want to click on magic expand so now there are a couple of options there's a free form whole page the one that I like the most is free form because it allows you to drag it for as much as you want and notice when I click on magic expand and generate the image this girl stays exactly where she is. We're not making her bigger or smaller, stretching her in any way. Canva is really just helping us create a background that will go with this image that I already have using their AI technology, which is extremely cool. So let's see what we get. Similar to Mid Journey is going to create four different illustrations for you to pick from. And also, if you don't like any of the four, you can always click on regenerate to try to create something else. Okay, so this this came out very interesting. There's some strange things happening on the left. So I don't think I like this one too much. Let's keep going. This one is okay, but there's a little bit of a strange logo on the left, which I could easily take out manually, but let's just see what else we have here. This is also a little bit strange. This is okay. But I've actually seen better. So I'm actually going to try to generate new results to see if I can get another set of four. And hopefully I'll like the results a little bit better this time. All right. Okay, this is actually a lot better. This one is actually not bad. I might pick this one. Let's say you're happy with this. I'm just going to click out of it. And this is the one that I'm going to select. I'm going to layer it so that I'm going to move it all the way back so I can see all my other cover elements like the spine and the composition notebook wording. And there you go. How cool is that? You literally took an image that was just a square size and filled up the whole front and back cover. So the second really cool tool that I want to show you is called Magic Graphics. What Magic Grab does is it basically looks at the entire photo, analyzes it, and it is able to recognize what is the key focal point of the photo. So in this case, it would be this little girl. And it would be able to cut out the little girl from the background and allow me to move the girl around on the photo. So let's say right now it's you know towards the right of the photo. For whatever reason, let's say I prefer that the girl is on this side. Then I can use Magic Grab to help me do that. So let's take a look. I'm going to select a photo go back to edit photo and I'm gonna click on magic grab so once I click on that Canva is working its magic to basically cut out the little girl from the background and this is different from just removing the background because it basically keeps the background intact and the girl intact so now you can see that there's a little outline around the girl that means now I can probably move the girl separate from the background and the cool thing is it actually helped me fill in the background where the girl used to be because this was just one photo so anything behind this girl canva just basically filled in for us it didn't exist before and this is really cool the third really cool Canva tool I want to show you today is called Grab Text. And so what it does is if there's a photo or an image or an illustration that you have that there's existing text on it and you either want to delete the text or you want to be able to edit the text, this Grab Text feature will allow you to do this. So as you can see, this example here is just a photo. I can't edit anything, right? So I'm just going to click on the photo. I'm going to go to Edit 
image, I'm going to click on Wrap Text. Okay, so what you'll see is once it's done processing, you'll see anywhere where there used to be text, it's now editable. I'm just making this up. Amazon KDP Station. So I'm going to take this out. I can do anything. I can change the font size. Say I want to take this out. And so it really is very cool because it basically allows me to edit text on an image that I wouldn't otherwise have been able to. Next, I want to show you this other really cool tool called Magic Morph. You can find it by going to your apps and then if you don't see it already in your display, you can put in Magic Morph and you'll see this icon. So this is the one that you want. And so I'm going to show you a really cool example just so you know how this works. So I'm going to put in some text and let's say I just want to put in on my book cover, be kind. And I can change it to the font that I want. Say I want something cuter. So I just want this. Now this seems a little bit plain and boring. Obviously I could pick different styles. And I want it to be really unique and different. I'm going to come back to Magic Morph here. And you can basically describe the look that you're looking for in this little text box here. So it's very similar to putting in a prompt in Mid Journey, except this time you're describing the texture of the font that you want or the texture of the image that you want. They actually have a few examples here. Like let's say if you want your text to look like this, this would be the description that you put in. If you want it to look like a pumpkin, you can do this. So you can really put anything. So let's say just for illustration's sake, maybe I want a wooden 3D texture. Let's see what happens. And we can always regenerate if we don't like it. So I'm going to come back down here, click on Magic Morph and see what it does to my letters. And again, it'll give you four different examples to choose from. And if you don't like it, you can regenerate. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so they do look pretty wooden to me. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm just going to expand so you can see. So I said I wanted it to be wood and it did give me a wood texture, which I think is really cool. Let's pull one of these other ones and see. This one is just, I believe, a darker wood, which is also really nice. The next tool I want to show you is called Magic Media. So you can access it by coming down to the left hand side of your menu bar to apps, click on apps and then go to your apps. And if you don't already see Magic Media here, you can type it in here to search it. And then you will see it and you can click on it. So this is the closest thing within Canva right now you can find to Mid Journey. And the great thing is Canva is now adding all of these AI tools that will allow you to pretty much do everything within just Canva. Now this is not as advanced as Mid Journey in my opinion in terms of their text to image capabilities, but I think it's actually still a really good tool to have because if you want to generate something simple, you really can just do it within Canva and you don't need to hop onto Mid Journey or have a separate subscription description for that. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So you can do text to image and text to videos. Given we're talking about KDP, I'm going to do text to images. Say I want to have a cute kitten playing with yarn. I entered in my prompt and then down here there's various styles you can pick from and also aspect ratios. I say I'm comfortable with just doing it in a square and then styles you can pick from a number of different ones. So let's say I want to try this one or actually let's try watercolor and see what comes up. So click on create your image and similar to mid journey it will generate four different images for you to choose from and if you don't like any of them not a problem you can always hit that regenerate button and it will give you another set of four to choose from. So okay so let's see so this is the watercolor style I asked for a kitten playing with yarn, so it did give me a kitten playing with yarn, which is great. So I'm going to just show you for illustration purposes another style. So I'm going to click on this one and let's see what happens. And you can see that it's a more realistic photo of a kitten playing with yarn. So the final Canva tool I want to show you today, which is very useful for Amazon KDP is Magic Write. Here you can see that I've created an illustrative dinosaur coloring book cover. A lot of times when we create books, we want to have on the back cover a little blurb or a description to describe what the book is all about. You can either compose it yourself or you can leverage some help from ChatGPT or 
Or in this case, you can actually leverage what they call magic write within Canva itself. This is a really cool tool and I want to show you. So let's say I have this space here for the blurb and I'm going to just add a text box here so that I can add in my description. Okay, so I'm going to write my question here. Can you write me a description for a kid dinosaur coloring book? to include on the back cover. So basically this is my prompt. So when you click on the text, you'll see magic right up here. Click on that and I'm going to click on continue writing. So what it's going to do is actually answer my question with the description that I asked for. So I'm going to click on continue writing. There you go. So basically it answered you and gave you a little blurb here. So the coloring book is perfect for any young dinosaur enthusiast. And it goes on to describe the book. And obviously it doesn't actually know what your book contains. And in your prompt, you can be very specific. And then it will take that into account when they're writing the description. Otherwise, you can edit it manually to make sure that the description accurately describes the book that you're uploading on Amazon KDP. But this is really cool because it saves you the hassle from having to think about what to write. And it gives you a great starting point and if you don't like it you can always regenerate as well but for illustration purposes let's say I really like this and I'm just going to edit it and put it as my description and um, the other thing you can also do is so once you've generated this you can click on magic right again if you didn't like it you can ask it to rewrite you can ask it to summarize the text into a you know a shorter more succinct verbiage and if you don't like the tone that the verbiage is being written so let's say you think it's too boring and you want it to be more fun you can click on this you can click on this to say more formal so it is really cool so let's say we want to click on more fun let's see what happens attention all little dino lovers behold the ultimate coloring book that will transport you back in time to the land of the t-rex uh, etc so i think this is really cool i just want to show you this because i think it is actually a very very useful tool for amazon kdp so i hope you enjoyed this video and managed to learn something new and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you next time